my name is Neil, and today I'm going to be t talking to you about selection sort. This is the second video in my sorting algorithms series. So, if you haven't watched my first video on bubble sort, then go ahead and watch that and come back to this. So, selection sort. One easy way that I've told you in, in video number one is that you look at this. So, selection sort. Select. You are take, you're selecting something from the list and you're taking it and putting it where it's, and you're taking it and putting it where it should be. That exactly explains selection sort. So, let's start. Iteration one, you have this list. So, you want to get it from least to greatest. If you do it from greatest to least, you do the same thing, but instead of doing the least and bringing it over here, you do the greatest. But anyway, so, you traverse this list and you find which is the least. This is greater than this, so not this. This is greater than this, so not this. This is less than this, this is less than this. So this is the least. Now, you switch it with this. Notice I'm not saying bring it to, begin to the beginning because that is a lot harder. Switching you just is just two, but if you do that, you bring it here, and then this has to be assigned, everything has to be assigned uh, that was before it has to be assigned a new value, and that adds to the complexity, which I'm going to be talking to later. So, as you can see, so what happens is that it goes zero, and then two, and then nine. These two are switched, right? And then one and five. Notice that selection turn is exactly what a human would be doing, except they're, except to reduce the complexity, um, because it's a computer program, you wouldn't just put it at the end. So, there's a normal humans, they would take it and they might put it in a different list, but that adds to the complexity and it makes it more complicated. So we're going to do it with only one list. This is a thing just like other sorts that we're going to be talking about in the series. So, now this, this is what it ends on the first iteration. So now, on iteration two, what happens is that you have this, right? Right? So, what happens is that you know that the, the sorted part of this list is up, ends at index one, right? So, anything you pick now will, will not go after it, because this is a list. So now what happens is you pick the second least. You go to the list and you find this. Now, all, you know that this is the least, so you switch it with this. So now, at the end of iteration two, what you get is this. Now, moving on to iteration, iteration three. So in iteration three, right here, you, you can see that, that the sorting part of the list is up to index one. So whatever you put, it's gonna go between, it's gonna go here. And you don't have to increase the complexity by doing anything here. So now you pick the least, which is this one, and you switch it with this dude. So now it becomes zero, one, two, nine, and five. That is the third iteration. Now for iteration four, 
four. Sorry to be confusing, but it's it's this, 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 this. So now you have this list. And it's down up to here. So now you see that this is either right or you need to switch it. So now you pick the next least. At the in this case, the fourth least. You you pick the least, not including this. And in all of these you don't include the sorted part of the list. So it's five. So you switch this. And it becomes zero, one, two, five, nine. This is the sort of list. So, that is insertion sort. And that is insertion sort. And I'm Neil Kumar. Make sure to sit, share, like, and subscribe. And make sure to watch and all the other videos in the series. Bye.